Here's what you need to know to start managing, tagging, and segmenting your email subscribers with Kit so you can organize your list and offer more value to your readers. You can see a lot of information on, you guessed it, your subscribers. Here at the top in this chart, you can see the number of new subscribers you've received each day, as well as cancellations, and how many net new subscribers that equals to. You can also take a look at your total subscriber growth over time, the engagement of your list, and how that's broken down, deliverability, which takes a look at the emails sent recently over time. You can look at both broadcasts and sequences to see how your sequence emails are performing each day. You can also take a look at purchases, when purchases have been made over time, and how people are responding when unsubscribing. You can also take a look at this in different ways. So for example, this defaults to days. So you're seeing the net new subscribers per day. You can drop this down and say, I wanna see it over weeks or months. And you can also filter this by specific things. For example, by default, it's on all subscribers, but you can change it to a specific form or a specific tag, lots of different things in your account. So you can be very specific with this. Below this chart, you'll see your total subscribers. This is your active subscribers right now. You also see the last 90 days, your average open rate, your average click rates, and the total number of emails you've sent. And you can also take a look at how many new subscribers you have for today. Below that, you'll see a list of subscribers. Imagine meeting all of your subscribers in person. The conversation you'd have with each of them would be a little bit different, depending on who they are and why they're there. Our tags and segments allow you to take that same personalized approach for each person you're emailing by organizing your lists and adding information about subscribers so you can offer more value to them. With many email platforms, you organize your audience by creating different lists. For example, you might have a list of customers, a list of prospects, and one main list with everyone in it. If you're charged by subscriber numbers and one person lives on several lists, you're wasting money by paying for them multiple times. But we do things a little bit differently here. With Kit, you have one list and organize it within segments and tags. It's easier, more efficient, and very cost effective. I'll dive into more about segments and tags here in a minute, but first, Let's take a look at a subscriber's profile so we can see how all of this is organized. So just by clicking a subscriber on the subscribers page, you can see more about them. You can see their email address, their first name if they've included one, and any other custom fields you might have. You can also see any emails they've received here under email history. So we can see here the broadcast that the subscribers received. And these dots next to each email shows the current status of that. So for example, this one was open because it has a green dot. The blue dot means it was delivered. And this dot with a little dot in the middle means that it was clicked on. So you can see quickly and easily how active each subscriber is, including the star rating on the left side. You can also look at what automations they may be a part of, what sequences they may have gone through, what form they signed up to when they first ended up in your list, and also any purchases they may have made. If you scroll down to the bottom of the subscriber profile, you'll see more information about how they found you and how they subscribe to your list. You'll also see all the tags they belong to, as well as all the segments they belong to. Let's take a look at the subscribers page and I'll talk more about segments and tags. On the subscribers page, if you scroll down on the right side, you'll see segments and tags. Let's start with tags first. Tags let you label subscribers to create fixed groups around a shared characteristic. For example, you could create tags like beginner designers, webinar attendees, a course pitch that's in progress, anyone currently going through that email sequence. And you can add several tags to one subscriber. As subscribers get those tags, you'll see the total number of subscribers who have each tag. And you can click on a tag to see a list of subscribers who have that tag. Tags are added to each subscriber profile, so a subscriber can have multiple tags associated with them. Segments help you group together multiple subscriber tags that meet certain conditions, like subscriber journey tags, beginners and intermediate, for example, signing up via certain opt-in forms, graphical locations. You can organize your segments based on different things. So for example, here we have a designer segment. If I click on that, we'll load the segment up. And on the left side at the top, you can see segment designers. And if we click edit, you can see what's happening in this segment. The segment's looking for multiple different tags and organizing them all together. So if anyone has any of these tags, they're put into the designer's segments. What's great about these segments is they work kind of like a smart filter. If somebody loses one of those tags, if it's removed from them or they get added to one of these tags, they're automatically added to segments. So segments continually grow and shrink based on the tags your subscribers have. You can also filter by other things inside of these segments. You don't have to specifically just use tags. We can add a filter here just to see how many options there are. You can choose subscribe to and you can do 
forms, sequences, tags, or even products. And you can also filter based on other criteria, like within another segment, or if they're cold subscribers, if they're within a certain country or region, their subscription date, and any of their custom fields. You can also quickly and easily add subscribers to your lists by clicking add subscribers on the right side of the subscribers page. Here, you could add a single subscriber, you could import a CSV file, or you could also import from another provider. So this lets you quickly and easily bring subscribers over to Kit. In the description, there's also a more in-depth tutorial on importing your subscribers. So if that's something you're currently working on, check out the description for that link. Now that you know how to manage your subscribers, the next step is learning how to send an email to your subscribers. And you can learn all about that in this video, which is our full deep dive kit tutorial. The tutorial you just watched is actually part of that full tutorial. So when you head over there, use the timestamps in the description to find the section on sending broadcasts. I'll see you over there.